what's your advice for companies? Do you, like, do you just go state by state and say, okay, I'm going to comply and country by country, right? I'm going to comply with this, going to comply with this, which results in a kind of interesting patchwork. Uh, yeah. you know, so you're sure you're in compliance. Do you go for the highest level, which yeah. sort of protects you everywhere, but it's sort of expensive? Or, you know, do you do some sort of combination of principles that universally apply, whatever? How do you approach, because we don't have federal legislation, what, what's your advice to companies on how to approach dealing with this patchwork? It's a great question, Paul, and it's, it's incredibly difficult. There's probably not one perfect answer for every company. Um, what I've found is really as a, as a the core part of the business, understanding where your requirements are. So, um, you know, you mentioned the state by state, it's jurisdiction by jurisdiction. It, privacy laws, especially in employment context, could be citywide. Um, yeah. So you really, you have to be hyper sensitive in, in tracking that. And that's that's a level of maturity and diligence that, that's difficult just to keep up. It's, it's constantly changing. Uh, there are laws every day in the space. It, it, I mean, it's it's part of the fun if 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 you enjoy it, but it's also it's the ball never stops moving. Um, yeah. And so you, you but you without that knowledge, in some respects, you're you're at the disservice of having to take a broader approach, which will leave you both under and overly inclusive from a compliance perspective. So, just knowing the basics is probably step one, and then from there you can take with with the appropriate stakeholders internally. Um, a, a risk-based decision. Uh, the compliance program you build based on your legal requirements will require an understanding, again, of, of, of what your actual legal requirements are, but also where can you spend finite resources internally. Uh, we, you know, yeah. on the in-house side, you, you can't protect every problem, um, but you can build a program that scales and you can build one that can handle exceptions. And I think taking that approach, which is a, more of a systemic uh, approach, will allow you to make sure you're meeting your requirements where you are.